Ooh, a little switch up here. I am back in my beauty room, you guys. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed in here, um, but you know what? I just kind of wanted to switch things up a little bit. So we're in the beauty room today. It's so nice and clean, which is so crazy. Um, but you know, I went through the whole organization process and I'm so happy I did because now it actually feels like a lot nicer to be in here. So I don't know, I'm happy. <laughs> Alrighty, I want to scoot you in a little bit. This is what happens. Wait, that was too much. This is what happens when, you know, you film on your own. I'm an independent woman. You know, I don't have people to help me these days. I don't know why I zoomed you in because I haven't even told you guys what this video is about. But this video is basically I wanted to do my current go-to summer glam makeup and include a lot of like really useful tips, tricks, techniques of summer makeup. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it yet, but that's the gist, so. I have been so entirely excited to uh, do this video because like I said, it is literally the makeup that I've been like, oh, this is so weird for me being back in this room just cause I've been, you know, so used to filming out there in the living room. But I feel like, I don't know, once in a while I might switch it up. Obviously I'm still gonna film in there. I know a lot of you guys like the lighting out there better, but it's just hard to time it, which is why I'm literally always racing the sun because the sun just sets so fast. And today um, I have to film earlier in the day. So that's why we switched it up. But I know some of you guys actually commented saying you like, you like this background and you miss the filming room setup. So, but yeah, I've been really excited to show you guys this tutorial because it has been my go-to summer makeup look. Super easy, simple, the skin looks bomb and it lasts really like, really well throughout the day. And the best part is like, I feel like it's quite sweat proof, but it's not super matte and not super heavy on the skin. Just doing my normal brow routine. I always use a pencil. I am using the Milani Precision Brow today in the shade Caramel. I ran out of my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in my shade. I usually use the shade Taupe in that. And I have a couple that are neutral brown, but I just, I like the Taupe shade the best. So I need to pick up some more Taupe, but until then, I'm using this caramel shade, which I actually do like this pencil a lot as well. So we're just gonna go in, etch out the brows. You guys know I like doing my little brows on the lighter side. So I don't personally like to fill them in where there's no spaces. I actually like to leave them looking very natural looking. My brow hairs are so long. They're like daddy long legs up there. Because my brow hairs are so dark naturally, when I go in with like a lighter shade of a brow pencil, it just gives me like the dimension I like, but it doesn't make them, like make my actual brows look too dark. All right, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I love this stuff. So good. And I like to put this on like towards the beginning of uh, my makeup routine just because then it gives it a little time to set in before we get to the lip area and I'm just gonna go in and Add some concealer to the brows to carve them out and this is the Too Faced peach concealer. So now for the good stuff We're gonna get to the face I love my face makeup like this is just I feel like where I thrive Okay, I have a new little primer combo that I think is so perfect for summertime It keeps me matte in all of the right areas So that is what's making it, you know, sweat proof and more heat proof, etc, etc, etc But it also gives me the glow in the right places So what I've been doing is actually using both of these products Tatcha's the silk canvas and then the elf retro paradise uh, primer glow oil So I'll take the silk canvas and a little of this goes a really long way like you really don't need that much um, I literally take it on the back of my hand and Just start to press it into the skin in the areas where I usually crease and um, Also the areas where my skin has the most pores So for me, that's like a lot in this area underneath the eyes on the cheeks and then I crease really badly here um, and other under the eyes. So this is one of the best primers I've found that's mattifying yet not drying because it still has those like hydrating ingredients in there. And that's why I have been loving it for summer. And once I feel like I've pressed enough, then I kind of like disperse it out. Whoa, I, 
<laughs> my hands were not following my brain's direction there. And then I take the primer glow oil from e.l.f. And I'll pat this into the high points of the face. I'm a big fan of the padding lately. Big fan of the padding. I feel like it like, again, makes my makeup stick a lot longer. Ooh, glow? No, cause it's matte, get it? I know that was like such a bad dad joke. For my foundation, what I've been doing, um, I've been applying with a brush, but using a really lightweight foundation. And I feel like that is really what's been helping me achieve this like flawless base that's lightweight doesn't wear off and doesn't get messy through the day. Creasy, cakey, sweaty, oily, etc., etc., etc. I've been using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I've like gone back to it, but you can honestly use anything you have on hand that's lightweight. Like you just want to look for that lightweight formula um, because like I said, what I've been doing is, you know, really just creating a nice light layer on the skin. And I like really buff and press it into the skin. And then I'll cover up anything I really need to cover up with um, concealer. And I really do feel like that's been working for me to get that lightweight coverage and feel on the skin. Cause I haven't really been wanting to wear like super heavy makeup just cause it's starting to get hot. So this still covers everything that I need it to. This shade is a little light for me though. I like really need to get my right shade. Cause like, look at my shoulders, my shoulders. Okay, yeah, this is like way too light. I think I'll just mix a little bit of NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Syracuse, just to see if that helps. But same technique, buffing it in, pressing it into the skin. And I really have seen a difference in how my makeup has been setting with all the techniques that I'm about to show you. But I think the brush is kind of key actually because it helps to really press it in. A blender is gonna take too much of the product away. Boom. Concealer is what I'm gonna go with. Again, you want to use something that's super lightweight. You don't want anything too cakey. Um, and because we put that silk canvas underneath the eyes, that's going to already inhibit the creasing from starting. And what I've noticed is that when I use a lighter weight uh, concealer that still has enough coverage and then press my setting powder into it afterwards, that's what gives me the best long wearing, summery, lightweight, kind of makeup vibe. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, th I know this is like a lot of words, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, it's gonna stay on your face. It's not gonna like cake up or get gross and oily and sweaty, but it still doesn't look like super heavy makeup. That's what we're going for. So I'm mixing two shades of this concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Amazing concealer. I really, really love it because it has that super lightweight formula, but still has the coverage. I'm going to take that on a little concealer brush and we're just gonna pat it into the under eye area. And this again, even though we're using a lightweight formula, is the best way to get the most out of the that coverage because there's nothing worse than really kicking on concealer because that is just gonna make it crease a lot more. Pat it on, let it sit for a second so it can dry up a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and press that into the skin. And that's the best way that I found to really get it into the skin. Whatever's left on the blender, I like to take right under like where the cheekbones are. Then we're gonna do some contouring. I love this Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Honey Glaze Cream Bronzer. And it's so quick and easy to use, which is perfect for the summer. So for summer, I haven't really been baking, but what I do to keep, you know, my concealer and my foundation in place and not creasing is I'll take my loose powder and literally just keep pressing it into the skin until it pretty much disappears. Like you're just blending it into the skin. I do use a damp beauty blender for this step, but the reason I don't call it baking is that we're really pressing the product in and not letting it sit under the eyes for, you know, five, 10 minutes like you normally would with baking. And like I said, I just really like the effect of this. It keeps me matte in the right places, but not too matte, not too dry. And it just, especially when you're using this like damp blender technique, pressing it into the skin gives you this super flawless effect as you can see. 
Oh, it's coming together. I still don't know why my face looks so different from my body because honestly in person like it really doesn't look like that. Like I don't know if cameras are just like out to get me. They always want my face to look so yellow compared to my body for some reason. But like I swear in real life like it does not look like that. That's the craziest part. I mean, I'm just gonna correct it a little bit with bronzer, but I think the tips in this video are still gonna be very useful to you guys. Okay, bronzer time, Milani. <laughs> Um, Bellani Soleil Baked Bronzer. This has been my fave recently because it's nice and shimmery for the summertime. And I really haven't been doing a lot of contouring, so the bronze is kind of like what I've been going for. And I'm using, of course, my Sigma Roxette Risa brush. It's always so weird saying your own name, but... Okay, I changed the setting on the camera and I actually think that it looks slightly better, so maybe that's what it was because I swear to you guys, like I, this has been my go-to look and when I look in the mirror, it does not look yellow, but when I look on the camera for some reason, it does, so I don't know, riddle me that. But what I'm gonna do next is take my setting spray. Whew, that feels good, it's so hot. Um, and let that dry. And I use the MAC Fix Plus. And even though we go in with that Fix Plus, I like to take a uh, MAC Studio Fix powder and mattify this area with just a little bit of powder, especially if I know I'm going to be wearing my makeup all day. I mean, obviously you guys know I love Fix Plus, but it does give you that more dewy look all over, especially when you're spraying it like this. It's going to spray you like right in the middle of the face. So I just like to go in with a little bit of powder, a matte powder to like offset it, but you know, we still get that beautiful glow everywhere else on the face. Um, and then for highlight, I have been absolutely loving this palette, very luxe, but it's the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in 001 Universal. I love this top shade. I actually like had someone stop me the other day and be like, what highlight are you wearing? And I was like, girl, Dior. I will always have a special place in my heart for drugstore makeup as well. And I feel like when I find a bomb product that's like $5, I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, this is the highlight that I've been using and I really love it. I love this brush, uh, Smashbox Buildable Cheek for blush. And for summer, I would honestly just, I tend to steer towards like the corallies and the warm, like peachy shades. So this one is from Inglot. I don't know what shade it is. I'll try to find it online and list it down below for you guys. But it's so pretty. So I go right on the apples of the cheeks and blend upwards towards the under eye area. Blush and glow is like everything for the summer. And then for eyes, I've been taking the Maybelline Nudes of New York. And what I really like to do in the summer is literally just keep it super simple. You guys know simple makeup is kind of my favorite makeup, even though, you know, I dabble with other things, but I really love just like emphasis on the face and then a little bit on the eyes. So what I've been doing, like I was saying, is taking this shade right here called Founder and literally just taking that on my eyes and blending it out with my finger. This palette is everything, by the way. It's such a good drugstore palette. If I had to pick two drugstore palettes that I would recommend to you guys for summer, it would be for sure Nudes of New York. If you're a nude, neutral, bronzy type of girl or guy, but if you like want to have some fun, Elf Retro Paradise. Actually, both of these, like these are just essentials. This one again for the neutrals, this for like, you still get the bronzy shades, you still get the summery shades, but it's like such a fun palette. It's so like, I love both of these so much and I just get so much use out of both of them, which, you know, obviously I'm never gonna recommend you guys something that like I'm not actually getting a lot of use out of. I'm gonna take the shade Voyager on the Elf J Kissa um, brush. This is the J6 brush, and I'm just gonna make a really small line on this outer corner. And I always go in with a little bit of bronzer on my lower lash line, and I feel like this helps hide creasing if it were to happen. This helps to mask it a little bit more. Then we're gonna go into mascara. I'm literally running out of space on this memory card, and I have no others right now that are empty. You guys, if it weren't me racing something, if I weren't late or racing something or trying to get through before something happens, like 
I just really don't think this would be a rock set video. Okay, so this is Buxom Extrovert Mascara. I'm just going over with a quick layer. You can leave it like this if you, you know, typically don't like to wear falsies, but you know, you know how I do. So I'm gonna go in with House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I still wanna do my updated lash techniques video, but I'm like waiting for uh, like them to arrive because these are not in the best condition. I literally found these like stuck under like a compact of some sorts on my makeup desk. And it was, it's like the last pair that I have right now. So I was like, honestly, I'm just gonna use them for a couple days, but it's definitely like, they're not like, like fresh and like perfect to use right now. So I like, I definitely still wanna do that. It's coming soon, but just, you know, just give me a sec. Oh, by the way, when I was saying that they these were stuck under a compact, I'm talking like not in the case, like just like flattened down, like molded all crazy ways. Like they were just flying solo under there. I revived them, honestly, I revived them. Okay, my eyes are done. I literally, I can't even tell you how much I love that, this technique. I promise it's coming soon. Um, but I just added a little bit of this MAC Extended Play Giga, Blash, uh, Giga Black Lash uh, Mascara to the bottom lashes. And we're gonna move to lips. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liners in Nude 2 and 3, Bomb Combo. And my favorite lipstick of the summer. Artist Couture Silk Cream Lipstick in Saucy Gal. It is the most perfect warm tone nude, best formula. It never gets like crackly or flaky on my lips or dry. It has a really moisturizing formula and it's just the perfect warm tone nude. Like, is that not everything? Love the formula, love the shade. Um, I do have a discount code if you guys wanna check it out. It is an affiliate code, but you know, I asked in one of my recent videos, like, do you guys like when I share codes? Do you not? And most of you were like, do your thing, girl, which I love you guys for that. And that is it, my summer skin. To me, summer skin is still very glowy, so that's why I didn't do a completely matte face. But with the right techniques and the right products and the right consistencies, you can definitely still achieve that very long-wearing makeup that we all kind of want, but just like summer edition where it's still glowy and dewy and radiant and, you know, the vibes so love ya see you in my next video subscribe down below and turn those notifications on Whew! 18 seconds to spare there's literally 18 seconds left on this memory card 18 seconds i mean you know vibes <laughs> okay bye guys not spelling great <laughs>